All right, so we are back with the third episode of the My Jam series, and I'm not going to give much of an introduction. If you don't know what's going on, go back and watch the first two episodes and catch yourselves up to speed before you watch this one. But before we do get into the video, I want to ask you all, just subscribe to the channel. I would appreciate that. We're almost to 1.5K, now we're trying to get to 2K, and yeah, just keep on growing, keep on moving. I appreciate all of you that have been subscribing or have subscribed for a long time. I appreciate everything. Like this video as well and turn on the post notifications. All that stuff helps a ton. Now let's hop into it. All right, so we're gonna get through a number of games today and we're just gonna kinda, I don't know what this episode's gonna bring. I'm sure if something crazy happens, it's gonna be in the title or the thumbnail or whatever, but let's hop into this. So let's, let's see what else is going on. Let's talk with our governor. Governor's house, pretty much he's the owner. Uh, they changed the title years ago because more friendly, but Eddie's mad that we dropped the streak again. Um, I'm going to respond negatively this time. Last time I did positive and I'm going negative. Everyone loses game sometimes. I think it was crazy to force a streak to begin with. We weren't forcing anything. We were taking what was being given. You let me down. Okay, cool. Dude, I don't care what you say. Fire me. I'll go somewhere else. Um, anyways, so let's go ahead and look at our tasks. I want to get you guys up to view on the tasks. So these are the tasks that we have from a bunch of different people. Our coach wants us to get three veterans, so I'm probably gonna make at least one trade to get a veteran in this uh, episode. Don't lose more than 39 games. We're on pretty good pace for that, but hopefully we stay that way, and that's from the governor. Our scout wants our roster to be among top 15 in the league, and then improve concession revenue um, in the next home games. Governor, that's a request. And then get rid of D'Lo is um, something from our coach, from Ryan Saunders. So. He's adamant we trade D'Lo. I don't want to do that, but um, we'll just have to see what happens. Anyways, let's see. Everybody looks to be doing pretty good, or at least neutral. All right. So on our trade block, too, let's go take a peek at the trade block, and we can just see um, what everybody looks like. So our trade block is... Where is our trade block? There we go. Trade block. All right. So we have... Jared Culver and Clint Capella in the trade block. Carl Anthony Towns is untouchable. Um, let me go ahead to the front off or the roster. And I want to go down and see if we can send Jared Culver down to the G League. So we're going to do that. I wonder if that has to come with a conversation or if it just goes ahead and does it. Either way, I think we're good. Let's chit chat with our assistant coach. If you guys haven't watched the first two episodes, chit chats are super weird. Right now we're talking about pancakes or waffles. He says waffles. I said, yeah, I'm on team waffles. They've got pockets for the syrup and you can put ice cream on them. Great point. I'm not anti-pancake by any means, but if you're ranking them, come on, it's not even close. Like these conversations are just super weird. You guys can pause it and read if you really want to. Um, yeah, okay. His morale and trust is up. That's perfect. All right, anyways, so we have a new task from our head scout, which is good because I need something to do that I can realistically realistically do he wants to accelerate the rebuild grabbing an extra first round pick would be nice um do i want to promise that yeah we'll promise that all right perfect so let's go ahead and try and trade for a first round pick we're just gonna trade finder and i'm gonna go ahead and try and get a really good first from like the calves nothing found there let's try and get the knicks i always do this in the rebuild so let's do it here and then let's try and get the Pistons first round pick as well. Okay, so they got nothing. So then let's just go ahead and try and get like somebody who's probably going to be somewhat decent, like the the uh, Spurs. We Jer Culver for a first and Marco Bellinelli, Malik Beasley. Why don't we do this? Let's go ahead and get a pick from the Knicks. They have also the Clippers pick, so we could try and get that. But let's throw them. I'll throw them my 2024 pick. I can't do that. Stepping rule, right. Okay. Um, let's try and get that Clippers pick from them then. So let's just go Trade Finder. And let's try and get the Clippers pick from the Knicks. Hopefully it doesn't cost too much. They want Malik, Josh, Wancho, or Rashawn Holmes. I'm not going to give them Rashawn Holmes. Juan, I'm not going to give them Josh either. Maybe we can give them Wancho. Maybe. All right, we'll do this trade, I guess. So we got a first round pick, which is perfect. We gained another skill point. We're leveling up. 
So let's see what we should buy. Chit chat with governor, chit chat with other GMs, pick weekly meetings. Um, what do I want to get here? We're going to do 100% at, um, attend. No, we already did that one. Resigning players for less. That would be perfect when we get to the offseason. So we're going to do that. Let's talk with Jarrett Culver. We're in our limousine. My limousine, actually. Um, let's talk to the player. Yeah, of course, but please call me Brendan. I'm not trying to come off in Tyler or anything, but I deserve more minutes. My play speaks for itself. I'm being wasted right now. Um, I'm going to deny Ancalo because I want him in the G League a little bit. So he can't do anything about that right now, but keep working hard. I'm sure we'll make you'll make a case that we can't ignore. We believe in you. Obviously, I don't agree with that or I wouldn't be here. But I'll make, the, my, I'll make it my mission to prove you guys I deserve this. His morale goes down a little bit. Player morale does go up a bit. That's great. Let's attend our weekly press conference. Um, and let's get into next week. Nathan Melbourne, if you guys haven't been around for this series, he's always the one asking questions. He says, Jared Culver has campaigned openly for more minutes. Is that something you're going to accommodate? I feel like no comment is always such a bad answer. I'm going to go with no. Our coaching staff gives minutes to players who help us compete. If Jared wants more playing time, he'll have to earn it through his on-court play. So morale with everybody else goes up except for Jarrett. That's fine. I'm trying to trade Jarrett anyways. Um, let's meet with our head scout here and see what he has to say. Maybe he's bringing some good news or something. Oh, okay. Let's just uh, compliment the scout. Awesome. Yeah, perfect. His morale goes up a bunch. We're good there. So let's change prices here. Let's go tickets up to like 65 Parking, $12.50. And then merchandise, $24.00. Programs, five bucks. And then, actually, no, let's go down a little bit here. And let's go up a little bit with the ice cream, the burgers, and the coffee. All right, perfect. So we are currently 11 and six. So we won two games because we were nine and six at the start of this video. So that is great to see. I'm going to try to trade away Jarrett Culver now and maybe Clint Capella because Clint Capella just doesn't have a lot of um or he's injured and he just hasn't been playing that great i don't know what we could do to help this team we could get christian wood and derrick rose we could get mikhail bridges who i love in real life i love mikhail bridges josh richardson um okay let me go ahead and see let's see here i want to see how many minutes we need like what position we need a backup power forward Okay, actually we need a starting power forward too. So let's try and get a power forward. But first, can I change people's positions or not? No, we cannot, which is rough. But let's go ahead and again, try to trade. Like what if we trade, oh, we can't trade injured players. Okay, so we're gonna have to try and trade a Cul or Culver and see if we can get a power forward. Um. Christian Wood and Luke Kennard, we'd have to trade away Rashawn Holmes. We'd have to re-sign these players, which is unfortunate because Christian Wood's contract is small. Luke Kennard's is pretty small. We could get Derek White and Trey Lyles, Davis Bertans, and Mo Wagner, but I don't want to trade that first if I don't have to. Um. Okay, so I think I'm good with doing this trade here, actually. We don't need Rashawn Holmes when we have Capella and we have Towns, so we're going to do that trade. And... Now we do not any longer have Jared Culver, but I want to send Nas Reed to the G League and also Jared Vanderbilt to the G League as well. Okay, maybe we don't have any uh, roster spots to do that. So we got D'Lo, Victor Oladipo, Josh Akogi, Christian Wood, Carl Anthony Towns, Luke Kennard, Mal Malik Beasley, Jordan McLaughlin, and Campaign. We need to get some bigs off the bench, so we're going to trade away like campaign and try and get some big men to come off the bench so campaign by himself even if it's like robert lopez or something like or robin lopez something like that we're gonna have to do it so we'll go mike scott in a second round pick and we got our three veterans which is perfect so then let's do this sponsorship slot oh we haven't unlocked that yet Okay, what? I have skill points. Um. Okay. Let's just 
chit chat with the governor we'll do that one for now i don't know what these skills really mean but now we get two action points per day we were previously at only one and a half we're 11 and 7 we just had an l to the uh spurs so let's go ahead and try and trade also we need a backup center now that nas reed is in the g league you know what we're just gonna leave it how it is for now i saw we had another task from the governor so we're in eddie chase's offense it is the 15th of january and he says our attendance figures are dipping we need to instill some fan spirit win a bunch of games in a row um okay sure i'll do whatever it is glad to hear okay how do we increase how do we increase that do we lower ticket prices or what do we do business um pricing graphs man what do we do here I think we're just gonna drop ticket prices down to 60 bucks. That's what we're gonna have to do there. Um, let's chit chat with Christian Wood, new player on the team. Let's see what he has to say. Um, okay, we're, wa we're talking about washing our legs in the shower. Um, okay, Taylor Swift doesn't, I don't get these conversations. If you guys want, like I've said, to pause it and read what they're talking about, go for it. I do not wanna sit through this. I do not care. All I care about is getting his morale and his trust up, and we did exactly that. So, all right. Um, I'm probably going to do more than like 10 games in this episode, too. I might just simulate quite a bit because, yeah, I I kind of want to get through this season and, make, and see if we can make the playoffs and everything. So, one thing that's been kind of a constant is Ryan Saunders wanting to trade away D'Angelo Russell. And I haven't wanted to do it, but... I am willing to see what is out there, but these trade offers, like if you think I'm trading D'Lo for Paul Millsap and Monte Morris, you have another thing coming, especially if I'm giving up a first round pick, like that's just not going to happen. Absolutely not happening. I'm not doing it. So let's, um, let's see here. Let's go ahead and see how the team is doing. Carl Anthony Towns has been hearing rumors that you're trying to trade for a player in his position and wants an explanation. Let's start a conversation with him. All right, let's see. Let's smooth things over with Kat. Hey, Brandon, sorry to bug you, but I got to ask you about these trade rumors. Is it something I should be worried about? There's a lot of smoke out there. Um, guarantee no trade. That's all internet hype machine nonsense. We're not bringing someone in to replace you. End of story. Of course, Kat is literally our foundational piece. He's not getting traded. He said, all right, cool. Thanks for taking the time to talk to me. His morale goes up but cody maxwell's goes down what's why is cody maxwell i i don't get it why is he why, what is he mad about i never said i was gonna trade cat never once did i say that um let's talk with the governor and then i saw we could talk with the head coach as well i'm scared of what who ryan Sa i only meet with saunders if he wants us to trade that's like the only way and i'm just scared all right, concession gross sales are through the roof. Wait, what's gross about concessions? Nah, I'm just playing. Happy to hear the profits are up though. All right, so we're a jokester now. Okay, okay. That was a pretty bad joke, but you did a great job, so I'll let it slide. Okay, cool. I'm going to talk with my head coach. Route to eat, Sunday night. He said, it really looks like the vets and rookies are bonding. Thanks for getting some experience in the locker room. I said, of course, it's exciting to see how they'll continue to grow. Great call and adding some vets anytime. Perfect let's um so there's no press let's go ahead we get a trade offer from the clippers so let's let's see what this is oh boy we haven't got a good trade offer yet i am interested joshua burgess is in the office um i'll take a look i don't think that it's gonna be something i want to do malik for pe you think i'm gonna do something like this like there's literally no way i am doing this no Give me a good trade offer and I'll think about it, but I'm not doing any of these terrible trade offers. We are 11 and eight, we lost another game. Um, Chief Financial Officer, kind of bad. He's not very good. I think we're gonna fire him. We're gonna fire Nicholas Brown and we're gonna bring in somebody that's better because uh, we have to. I'm gonna fire him cordially. His trust goes down, don't care, he's not here anymore. And then player morale only down, minus one. Then we're gonna bring in somebody like Logan Smith. 
see if he will accept an offer to come be our CFO. All right, let's begin the negotiations. Um, let's go to 320. 344, I'll give you 330. Can't make it work for 330. I'll give you 340. Perfect, all right, so we saved $4,000. Governor might be okay. Let's meet with the governor now. We're at his house. We meet everywhere. We meet in the parking lot, the house, out to eat, offices, everything. Doesn't matter. All right. So let's... I'm going for it. I'm going to critique him. Hey, sorry if I'm stepping over here. Step If I'm overstepping here, but is there any reason you never interact with any of the staff? because they don't need to see me as the authority. They need to see you as the authority. My presence undermines that. Okay. I wanted to see what happened if we did that. So we did that and yeah. All right, so um, let's see what Ryan Sondra is doing with this rotation. Um, yeah, this rotation is okay, I guess. Um, I wanna go check out the stats. We haven't looked at the stats once yet, I don't think. Let's go see um, how our players are doing. Cat is averaging 26 and D'Lo is averaging 21.6. Then Victor Oladipo and Christian Wood are doing their thing. Luke Kennard looks good. I, Capella averaging 14 rebounds before he got hurt was great for us too. Okay, so with that being said, I am going to end the week. Simulate the entire week. We lose 11 to 10. Or we don't lose 11-10. We lose a game, go down to 11-10. We have two-way contracts coming to the end. We can sign them for the rest of the year or send them back down. What do you think we should do? Um, sign them. We're going to sign them. We gotta, now we're at a meeting in my limousine, I guess, on Saturday. Okay, we're going to we're gonna let him handle. I think you should make the call. Perfect. So let's go to next week. And we are currently 13-10, and 10, so that's good. We want a couple more games. I thought we had a trade offer, but I guess it's gone. So let's meet with our head scout in the meeting room, see what he has to say. We're into January, January 25th. We're almost at the end of January, actually. Uh, me and Wyatt are talking about something small. I'm just going to compliment him. He's been doing a good job, perfect. One thing I did want to check is on our tasks. We have the 24th best rock. I traded for Christian Wood and we got the 24th best roster in the league. I do not know how that works. Um, okay. Cat doesn't want us to add a single player that plays center. Even a backup. We don't have a backup center. We just have Nas Reed. Um. Okay. Okay, I think these are all good. One thing was don't lose eight games in a row. We got that unlocked. That is definitely not going to be happening on my watch. Um, so everybody looks to be good with the current situation. Okay, so that's perfect. Um, what do we wanna do? What do we wanna do? I just kinda wanna end the weeks and see if we can get Clint Capella traded, but he has to be healthy before we can do that. So let's get into next week. Ryan Saunders, it's about to fail that we didn't trade D'Angelo Russell. Don't care, I'm not doing it. All right, 14 and 11 is our record. Let's meet with Ryan Saunders. Let's see what he has to say. All right, we're just gonna compliment him. Perfect, morale's up to a 70. Um, let's just chit chat with Kat, see what's going on. We should chit chat with Kennard as well because he is new to the team. Talking about vacuuming once a week, he has a dust allergy. Okay, we're just gonna skip through this. Don't care too much about that. Let's chit chat with Kennard, see what he has to say. We're going out to eat together, it's February 1st. Pancakes or waffles again. You guys already saw this conversation once. Perfect. All right, what now do we want to do? Um, we're 14 and 11. I think we're just going to end the day. Okay, so we lost there. So we're 14 and 12. I'm going to end another week, actually. Stay above 500 is all I ask. We're 15 and 13, 15 and 14. Weekly meeting is with the CFO. Let's meet with him in my limo. And I'm just going to compliment him because he's new. He's been doing great. We're going to praise him. 
Perfect. Awesome. Okay, what do we do from here? Do we make a splash and try and trade Oladipo away? If there's anything good for Victor Oladipo. If there's anything good, I will look into it. Um, Buddy Healed, not worth it for me. Damar to play small forward over Josh Kogi. That's interesting, but I don't want to give up Malik Beasley. Okay, so what if I threw in this first round pick? Drummond, don't want to bring in a center. Cat would be absolutely ticked. Um, Karras. I kind of like the Karras thing. I kind of like the Karras thing, but then we are... Yeah, Karras Levert, that's a good trade. I might do that trade. Malcolm Brogdon, I don't need a point guard. Um, DeMar's there too. We could do that. Could We could bring in DeMar, but then I don't know what our shooting guard situation looks like. So I'm going to actually go ahead and trade for Karis LeVert. First off, Karis LeVert's contract is smaller and he's under contract for more years. Two, Joe Harris would be a nice bench small forward over Corey Brewer. And he um, is also a veteran, so we should be good there. We're going to do this trade. Perfect. Skill level up again. Let's go ahead. Can we do this now? Sponsor slot. We're going to purchase this. Okay, we got another sponsor slot. So let's go to sponsorships and see if we can do anything. So that would be business, I'm guessing. Yep, sponsorships. Okay. So we want to get Puma. Is Puma the only one we can afford it is? Okay. Let's go to you with the Puma rep. Let's get them as our sponsor. Um... That's the simplest conversation I've ever had. Let's go chit chat with our new player, Karis LeVert. And um, we're in the February 9th. We're this one, we're talking about pancakes, but it's not the pancakes or waffles. It's the pancakes for table conversation that has been had in a previous episode. Go back and watch that if you care about that. Um, you can pause it too to see it. Don't care. Just wanted to chit chat with our new player. Um, we'll do it with Joe Harris as well and see what we can do here. Um, so Joe, we're talking about talking about the bathrooms or the the basement bathroom that smells bad, I guess. Um, okay, don't care. Literally no no reason to be talking about anything like that with me. But um, okay, let's look at our tasks again. So we're the 22nd best roster in the, roster in the league. We we're not getting rid of D'Lo. We have oh we need to get another first round pick because we traded one. So we need to do that. Um, we haven't lost eight games in a row and we're not adding a player that's a center. So let's go ahead and try and bring in a first round pick. I'll get one from like the Bucks or something. Um, let's try and get one from somebody that's going to be really good. Like the Lakers, I guess. They want Malik or Josh. Like, no, not happening. So I'll take Josh back. I can give you my 2024, no I can't. Okay, Um. all right, so we can't, there's not much we can do. So let's try and trade away, is there a bench piece we can trade away? Keelan Martin. He's recently signed, okay. Dude, what do I need to do to get a bench piece in here? Um. I guess we could trade Malik or Luke Kennard. You know what, let's trade Malik and see what the best offer is. We could get Sterling Brown in a first. We could get Quinn Cook in that first. We could do that, I guess. I don't like that trade at all, but we could do that. Because Malik isn't like a stud in 2K. Um, we're gonna, okay, we'll do that. All right, let's uh, simulate another week, I think. And just see what happens. I'm trying to get to like the trade deadline because I want to see what happens with Ryan Saunders. So let's go to the press conference. Let's meet with the assistant GM. And I think there was a trade offer that we might have had. Maybe it's gone, I don't know, it's from the Mavericks. Um, do you have any comment on the frequency with which details of trade discussions have been leaked in the press? Is that a concern for you? Um, it's a concern, yeah, it's a concern. You never like to see these things played out in process. So we'll be looking into what happened. Address any root causes as we can. So, Zachary Staples, no trust. Okay, that must be a GM from another team or something, I'm guessing. Sorry, dude, I really don't care if you trust me. Um, 
Let's meet with our assistant GM. I saw we had another task as well from the head coach, I think. So I'm just going to praise my assistant GM. We're going to get through that. And let's see what Ryan Saunders has for me in my limo. Too much fresh town locker room. We need some veterans. Okay. Um, I'm going to express some doubts. Glad to hear it. I really think it'll help with the rookies. Perfect. So let's see what that task is. Um, at least two veterans on the roster. We only have one. So we got to make a trade for someone. So I'm just literally going to trade Quinn Cook like we um, had and just trade for like not Robin Lopez, not a center because we don't want to do that, but somebody that's like 28 or older. You know, Myers Leonard, I would do that except we're losing Mike Scott, which wouldn't be good because that's one of our only other veterans. Ed Davis is a veteran. James Ennis, we could do that. Garrett Temple, we're going to do Garrett Temple. Okay, perfect. We brought in Garrett Temple. So we completed that. Um... Chit chat with other GMs. We'll purchase that skill. Okay. So, uh, what do we want to do? What do we want to do? Change coach's system. Let's talk with Cat first. Let's see what happens with Cat. Are we just going to praise Cat or what's going on? Um, trade rumors. Guarantee no trade. We did that. We've been through this, Cat. You are you're not in any danger, my guy. Um, okay. I saw change coach's system, so balance is pretty good. We're going to stick with balanced. Um, let's talk with the head coach, see what he has to say. We're probably just going to praise him. Um, hopefully he has nothing for us. Okay, cool. And we are 16 and 17. We're under 500. Yeah. That doesn't lend well to only losing less than 39 games. I'm going to simulate to right before the trade deadline if I can. That's March 23rd. Okay, so let's do that. Let's simulate to right before the trade deadline. Okay, so a trade offer popped up from the Grizzlies. We're going to stop there, and then we're going to simulate to right before the trade deadline. Let's take a look. I'm sure it's bad. Elise Johnson for Marco Guterich. You know what? Sure. We're bringing in a second round pick. I need some assets. Sure, that's fine. Um... All right, let's again go to the trade deadline. We are getting worse by the game, it seems, which is not good for us. Press conference time. Let's see what they have to say here. Ethan Melbourne, always talking. The mood locker room can't be great after a losing streak like this. How confident you are to get out of this collective slump? Very confident. Okay, trust is up. Public opinion's up. All players up. Another question. How would you describe this organization's fan base we're gonna go smart fan interest up to 90 perfect cool trade offer from the nets now let's see who they want to trade us um josh akogi and theo pinson for quinn cook and musa nah it's not a terrible trade offer but i'm not going to be doing that um let's end this week as well see where we're at we are almost to the trade deadline so I'm interested to see where we're at. Okay, press conference again, and we should be right before the trade deadline. So what surprised you the most about your day-to-day -day job? Um, staff interaction. Okay, staff is up. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Let's meet with the governor, see what he's saying. Um, if he, he doesn't have a new task for us, we're just going to compliment him. Perfect. His morale is up to an 85 and let's go look at the roster because I think now Clint Capel is healthy. And I think we can trade him. So let's go ahead and do that, Clint Capella. And I'll throw in this second and this second and see what we can get for Clint. Um, Malcolm Brogdon, I guess. I guess we could bring in a backup point guard that way. But I think we're going to stand pat for now. And let's just see. We're 20 and 23. So let's end this week. Let's go to closer to the trade deadline. Meeting room. I don't know who I'm meeting with, but let's see. It's Cody Maxwell. You got the trade deadline coming up. I'm getting a little nervous about it. Are there any moves you're trying to make? Sure. Let's stop the simulation. Let's see. We're now 21 and 23. And let's see. So we could use a small forward. 
We could definitely use a small forward, and we could trade Clint Capella for a small forward. So let's try and do that. Let's go to front office. Um, actually, let's go to scouting. I can't do team intel. Okay, so let's just look at some rosters and see if there's a small forward we can try and get that's pretty decent. Um, I thought for a second there, I thought LeBron and Kawhi were on the same team as I quickly glanced. Glad they are not on the same team. So I want to try and trade Capella for a small forward. Um, I don't know who that small forward would be, though. Let's let's try and do this. Let's go ahead and let's see if we can trade Clint Capella and a first for a small forward. I wish I could change positions because I would do that with like someone like a... Even if I traded for like Robert Covington or something, I would do that, but I can't. So a first isn't gonna do it. Let's just throw a second. I don't see any good small forwards to trade for. Um, so we might have to stay where we're at, honestly. Um, all right, let's end this week. A win and a loss, another win. Weekly meeting is with the head coach. We're going to make sure that that goes very smoothly. But first, the press conference. Uh, with recent trade negotiations leaking to the press, how worried about you? Um, it's business. Okay, perfect. Trust goes up with Zachary Staples, which is another GM, I think. And Eddie Chase, we lose a little bit of trust from him. Pacers have a trade offer. Let's go. Let's see what they want. We are one game under 500, by the way. So let's see here. All right, what do you got, man? Probably something really bad. Oh! Yeah, no. If I could change him to a power forward, maybe I would do this. But I don't have the ability to do that. So that means no deal. Okay. Trade offer from the Hawks. All right, let's see what they have. If they could try and send me, like, John Collins or something, I would be interested in that. Bruno Fernando... And Damian Jones for Nas Reed and Marco Guterich. Nah. Nah. Don't want to do it. Um. Don't want to do that. Okay. Um. Okay. So we are one game under 500. Our profits are at 73 million. I saw earlier we were at like 66 million. So we've made some money. Um. Coaching. System proficiency balanced seven seconds we're gonna activate seven seconds okay so let's end the week oh hold on let's see the all-stars here it is is carl anthony towns an all-star um okay we're just gonna auto draft it cat is an all-star three-time all-star he's on the reserves for team steph curry okay any other All-Stars? I do not see any. Okay, so Steph Curry um, selected Cat, which is great to see. Let's see in the meeting room the trade offer from the Grizzlies. All right. Clint Capella for Justice and Tyus. As much as I would like to bring Tyus back home, it's not happening. Um. Okay, and what is our record now? We're 500. We got a new task from the governor. New task from the governor. We've won a lot lately. Let's keep up the streak. Um... Express doubts. I mean, a bad game can happen anytime, but I'm confident we can keep it up. Great. I'll be sending you luck. Perfect. Perfect. So when was the, uh, when was the trade deadline again? Is it passed? It's March 25th. Okay. So let's go ahead and end our day. We have a trade offer from the Cavs. We got to go ahead and take a look at that. Got a trader we interested in. I'm always taking a look. Larry Nance and Jetty Osman. It's a little bit better, but it's still not good enough. Um, let's end our day again. Another W. We are over 500. We have a weekly meeting with the CFO, so let's do that. No press this week. Um, let's just praise him. He's been doing good. I love it. Let's go ahead and end the day again. Trade offer from the Mavericks. They're just flowing in as the trade deadline is progressing. All right, Christian Wood for Brunson and Willie Cauley-Stein. 
Nah, no deal. I need Christian Wood to be my power forward. Um, let's end this day again as well. 26, that's another W. And I think the trade deadline passed. I think the trade deadline passed. Let me see. What day are we on? Nope, trade deadline hasn't passed yet. Okay, so we're not there yet. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna end the day again. Any more trade offers? No. Let's end the day one more time. All right, we we lost 15 trust with Ryan Saunders because we didn't trade Cat. <sighs> but we didn't get fired, which is good. Um. Okay, let's go ahead and see what our tasks look like now. Keep the winning streak going. We have... How many games have we won in a row? Let's go check the standings. I want to see where we're at. I don't do like standings and stats a lot. I should definitely get into doing that more. So we are currently, let me count, three, four, five, six, seventh in the league. And we've won five in a row. If we can win three more games, I'm going to see if we can win three more games. If we win two more, we're going to hop into one and then um, play that game. But first off, let's look at the stats for the team. Yeah, this team is... This team is nice. I like this team. Unfortunately, we did not trade Clint Capella, but we can do that in the offseason or something as well. So let's end the week. Oh, we got a loss. Another loss. No, we were so close to winning eight in a row. Um, A long time. Okay. Perfect, perfect. Public opinion is 94.9. That is great. They love us. They love us. Let's see, what can we do here? We gotta add one of these things. Improves healing time, perfect, we'll do that. And let's do this as well. Oh no, let's do sponsoring, sponsor schmoozing. Okay, maybe we don't have any skills points. So we're back at 500, um, which sucks. We're just, okay, let's go up to the all-star break. We'll just simulate to the all-star break. We'll get, we'll play this Hornets game and then we'll be good. So I'm going to go over and we are going to play the game against the Hornets. So I will see you guys in there. I'm going to simulate towards the end of the game. Hop in. I'll see you guys in a bit. So I'm going to stop it right here. And let's jump in. All right. So looks like we have Clint Capella, uh, Christian Wood, Joe Harris, Karis Levert, and D'Angelo Russell in the game. So that is good to see. All right. Pass the ball. And makes the first. But didn't even like show that go in. That was super weird. Oh, he got fouled on a three? Bro, what are we doing? All right. Okay, so let's see. We're up by 11. So I don't have to rush or anything, but I do want to get some shots up. Um, I've never played with Joe Harris. I wonder how good of a shooter he is in 2K because he's an amazing shooter in real life. Come on, set a pick. And... D'Lo with the bucket inside, baby. Let's go. And if you guys are wondering, I do play an all-star difficulty. I just made sure before this game to change it to all-star because it was set at pro for some reason. But I did change it. D'Lo is tired. Wow. He can't even keep up with Terry Rozier. D'Lo is one of the worst defenders in the league, though, so I don't expect a lot. All right. Levert's wearing Wiggs' old number, and he's going to sky for a... And what? No, he does not get the bucket. So he's going to go to the line for a couple... And let's see. He's got a really slow free throw. I kind of like it, but I was kind of like not ready for that. And he makes both, so we are up by 13 points again. All right. D'Lo, can you play defense this time? See if we can get a steal. No, we cannot. I need help. Clint? Nope. Okay, there we go. Terry. Terry. Scary Terry ain't so scary anymore now that he left Boston. Or maybe he is, because he's making floaters over two defenders. All right, so trying to get a three with Joe Harris. Just pull. Catch and shoot. Oh, it rolls out. Just barely rolls out. Dude, that is terrible luck. Absolutely ridiculously bad luck. And Terry Rozier with another bucket, dude. He is taking over. What? All right, I guess. Okay, come here, Capella. Set this, and roll, 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 roll. Let's go. Let's go, baby. That was such a nice lob and such a nice finish by Capella. And we are looking good. All right, D'Lo. Steal that ball. No, he does not get to it. 
And he is trailing. He is trailing. Christian Wood with a foul, dude. Come on. We don't need to be fouling at this stage of the game. All right. Rozier made the first. Made the second as well. We have only a nine-point lead. We just got to protect this lead. Um, let's see if Joe Harris can make a shot here. Christian Wood with the screen. Bridges tries to go under, and Harris misses. All right, get back and play. Excuse me. Holy, what was that? Um, play defense. Is that Terrence Ross? And one? Dude. This game hates me, man. This is absolutely ridiculous. We're going to blow this lead, aren't we? Aren't we? All right, Capella board that, and he made it. All right, so we are down by, or we're up by six. Timeout. I'll see you guys after that. And give it to D'Lo. Here we go. Is that a pick, Christian? Uh, I went too soon. Joe, outside. Hand in the face. He's going to knock it down. He does not knock it down. We can't make a shot. I mean, it wasn't a great shot, but... Why is Cattle in the game? Hold on, hold on. Towns. He's rested. Can we get him back in the game, please? I don't come in the game not to get Cat in here, but... I'm about to have to play that boy 40 minutes. Because I need him in the game in this situation. Alright. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Christian Wood. Oh, he almost blocked that. That was a good defense, though. And he got fouled. Alright. Willie Hernan Gomez fouls out. Christian Wood at the line. Dude, what was that view? Why didn't I get to... I didn't even get to see Christian Wood's shot meter or anything. I was looking directly in his eyes. 2K, come on, man. Cat is still on the bench. Maybe he fouled out. I can't really see that. Maybe if I go to box score, we can see if Cat fouled out. No, he only has four fouls, but I can't put him in the game. That is all up to our coach, so... If our coach sells, not my problem. All right. Joe Harris. In the corner for Levert. He's wide open. That's money. That's money. Oh, wow. Okay, D'Lo. He's wide open. That's money. Let's go, baby. First three of the game. We are up by 10. I'm going to simcast the rest of it. And we're just going to call it a day. We end up winning by eight points. All right, so that is going to do it for today's episode. I don't know if we're going to get to the playoffs in the next one or the one after that, but we are currently 27 and 26. And yeah, we kept D'Lo. And Saunders was not too mad. We lost some trust, but he wasn't super mad, um, which I'm happy about. But yeah, I'm going to end the video there. Come back for the next one. See if we get into the playoffs. I'm not quite sure. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate you all. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.